All right, scholars, so we're gonna learn our catching skills now. So you guys learn the steps for catching above the waist and below the waist. So remember, above the waist is triangle, so your thumbs are together, okay? And below the waist, pinkies are together, just like this, okay? So let's go ahead and practice those steps right now. All right, scholars, so if you guys are catching a ball or something that's being thrown to you above your waist, you wanna make sure your feet are shoulder width apart, okay? You're slightly bending your knees. Remember, are your thumbs together or your pinkies together for above your waist? They are together, so remember, together like a triangle, okay? So when the ball or the object is coming to you, you're catching it. As soon as you catch it, you're closing your hand and you're bringing it close to your body. So again, feet shoulder width apart, slightly bend your knees, catch the ball, triangle, catch, close your hands, bring it to your body. All right, so the next type of catch is below the waist, below the waist. So your feet are still gonna be shoulder width apart. You're still slightly bending your knees. Instead of your thumbs being together, it is now gonna be your pinkies. Pinkies are gonna be together, kind of making like a bowl or a cup, okay? When the ball's coming to you, you usually can squat down, okay? Once you catch that ball, you bring it close to your body. If any of you guys play baseball or softball, you know, when the ball's coming to you as a grounder, usually you get your glove, you bring it down, you pick it up, stand up, and you throw, right? So today, eh, we're, we're gonna practice in our activity, throwing and catching. So when you're catching that object that's coming to you and it's coming below, again, shoulder width apart, bend your knees, pinkies together, squat, grab, bring close to your body. I want you guys to go ahead and practice those catches a couple times. Uh, the next video, we're gonna go ahead and practice our hand and eye coordination with a bean bag or a sock ball. So make sure you guys have those handy. And then we will go ahead and do our throwing and catching activity. So I'll see you guys soon.